Hey guys, gonna do a quick video for you here. Uh, went and purchased some stuff today at uh, English Pro Tackle. Wasn't expecting to do it. Had a tournament today. Wound up having some unfortunate events that uh, couldn't actually fish it. So I thought I'd make the best of it and went to uh, English Pro Tackle and pick some stuff up. So I figured I'd make a video of it and show you guys what I got. Okay, so the first thing we got here, uh, Z-Man Chatterbait. Uh, Right now in Texas, uh, there's a lot, lot of rain we've been receiving, so lakes are super muddy right now. So, of course, the spinnerbait bite and the chatterbait bite are kind of where it's at. Uh, this is the Project Z chatterbait. Of course, I got it in bright colors since the water's so, so muddy right now. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know I've gotten a couple of these before. I've actually done some giveaways on them. Pretty nice little chatterbaits. Um, not the best I've ever used, but pretty nice overall. Uh, I really wanted some really bright colors on it and this was the brightest one i could pick up i was actually looking for a different brand uh, the dnm ones but they didn't have them in the weight or size i wanted so i picked this up and uh moving on to the next thing along with that since they didn't have the colors i want i, I wanted i did pick up some uh, different uh skirts there and these are uh, z-man branded skirts as you can see there so i picked up some white and gray there of course, white and gray is really good in um, just about any color water, honestly. Um, I did get some different colors as well here. Of course, you can see we have chartreuse. Um, I'm not sure. Chartreuse is shad is what this is called. It's kind of a black and, black and white and chartreuse mix there, as you can see. So I figured I could just kind of switch out between the uh, chatterbaits that I have now. And um, instead of having a pay seven eight dollars for a new shatter bait just buy you know two or three dollar skirts and just switch them out so i can use them at you know at will instead of having to pay all the money to switch chatter baits back and forth uh the next thing i got here picked up another um six cents movement bait uh if you've been kind of keeping up with my channel you know i did a review on this not too long ago uh they were the last time i went there they were out of a lot of colors so they didn't have this one last time i was there but i'm uh, this is probably the most productive bait around my area. The um, chartreuse and black back. Uh, they didn't have it last time, so I did pick it up this time. Like I said, if, if you've watched the other video, go, uh, if you haven't, go check it out. But again, these have a really wide wobble, which is great for the spawn. Uh, it's something different from the sea, real shallow bait. Um, but like I said, with all the rain and the dirty water we have now, it, it's probably it's probably moved them back. Um, I don't know how productive this actual lure would be right now, but once the water clears up and, and everything kind of gets moved out, uh, this, this thing will be a killer right here. So speaking of dirty water, um, spinnerbaits, of course, are, are the big dirty water bait. Um, I didn't have anything with uh, Colorado blades on it that were that were big enough to really give me that that big thump that would really entice a strike. So I did pick these up. Uh, these are Hildebrandt, huge Colorado blades blades here. Um, I don't remember what I paid for them. I want to say they're like three, four dollars. Not too much. Um, so I bought these so that I could kind of kind of modify my current spinner bait so that I could fix them to where they had the ability to catch fish with within the confines that we have right now. Um, like I said, water's just so, so muddy down here. So I, I really wanted something that would put off a lot of vibration, something that would really, really entice the fish to bite. So I picked these guys up to kind of modify some of the spinnerbaits I have now. And speaking of spinnerbaits, I did pick up, uh, of course, you know, I like Santone lures. I got the GOT5, of course, uh, wide skirt. I did pick it up and it has a huge um let's see here gold colorado blade there i like the silver better so that's why i picked those up uh it's not as not quite as big as the um hildebrandt blades here as you can see so basically what i'm gonna do i'll i'll try it out and see if i can get some bots with this but if not i'll probably take those hildebrandt blades and put it on there and see if i get some some more action and a thump out of it next up we have the uh spike it dip and glow marker um did have an issue with uh, JJ's magic. Uh, I got it. I sp wound up spilling it in my boat. Uh, stained everything. So now I don't carry it in my boat. So if I need to add that extra, that smell and that color on my baits, I, I just don't have it in my boat right now. So I saw this at uh, English Pro Tackle and thought it was really neat. 
uh, does come with uh, chartreuse and orange color, so you can put it on a craw bait with the orange, and then of course chartreuse you can put on just about anything. I thought it would be a good solution to um, basically not having to worry about spilling the stuff, or of course you know in the summer when it gets hot that uh, the stuff expands, so when you open it, it likes to kind of kind of pop out. So I thought this was a, this was a really good uh, solution to kind of that problem there. So I'll be keeping this in my boat. Uh, really neat. Plus you can kind of draw on your soft plastics with it as well. But, I mean, I mean it's neat. It was four bucks, not a big deal. Uh, kind of neat. So check those out, the <clears throat> Spike It Dip and Glow markers. So next up, uh, Zoom Baby Brush Hogs. Everybody knows how Baby Brush Hog works. Um, if not, I'll take one out and show you here real fast. Of course, with the water getting in about 60 degrees right now, the fish are spawning, so they are wanting a lot of these kind of creature bait lures. Um, the problem I was having last time I fished a tournament on Grand Bear was that, of course, when they're getting up there to spawn, they're starting to get on beds, they don't really want to eat the lure, they just want to get it off their bed so that they can spawn. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't want anybody in your bed when you're trying to do what you do. Uh, so. That's basically what they're doing. They're trying to get this stuff out of there so that they can get and do what they want to do. So the problem I was having was that they're just kind of getting the tail, uh, moving the bait off and not taking the lure. So when you set the hook, you're just kind of pulling the, pulling the tail off of it and that's it. So I did run out of a lot of these. I was getting a ton of bites on them. So I decided to pick up quite a few more. Uh, I did pick up two packages of these. If you've never used brush hogs before, they're an uh, awesome bait for spawning. Uh, they're awesome bait for Carolina rig, anything like that. So. Check them out, of course, Zoom, Brush Hog. Uh, lots of other manufacturers make similar things, but I've never found anything that works quite as well as a Brush Hog. So I picked up two packs of those. Next up, uh, of course, again, with dirty water, you want a big vibrating bait. So I picked up some uh, Missile Jigs, uh, or Missile Baits D-Bombs. Pretty sure I've, I've had these in a video before. I've used them before, haven't used them lately, but I figured that these guys would really work. Um, of course, black and blue here. The color they call them are, uh, these are called the bruiser fish. Let me see that there. Uh, but they're basically just black and blue. Of course, your standard crawl type bait, the tails really move. You can use them as trailers. I like to just fish them as Texas rigs. And um, they'll pick up a lot of fish, especially when, like I said right now, the water's flooded, it's very dirty, they're up. If you can find the grass and flip up in the grass right now, that's generally where a lot of the fish are. So that's kind of why I picked these guys up. Moving on, I uh, picked up another six cents bait, uh, the Snatch 70X lipless crankbait. Uh, got it in the, this is called Brown Eye Special. It, it's basically a crawfish color. And the re, again, the reason why I picked up a crawfish color is because the water is so, so, so dirty right now. So it's something that really sticks out. A lot of vibration, um, something for the fish to see. Let me get a better view of that. Like I said, this really sticks out in the water right now. Of course, again, right before spawn, the fish are really feeding up. Um, crawfish color, I mean, they're trying to eat as much as they can, so the crawfish color will really stick out there. Uh, has kind of sharp, kind of chartreuse on the side there, red on the bottom, red on the sides, and then black on the top. It, it just really sticks out to the fish, so I decided to pick that guy up. Next up, I've really been enjoying these baits lately. I kind of picked them up on a whim. It's a uh, Bandit Lures, uh, the 300 size, and I did do this on a different video. Uh, wound up going out and losing my Chartreuse Black Back today before uh, before I stopped fishing the tournament. Uh, this one I, I had actually seen on a video, and it's, it's called Mistake. Mistake is the color, so you have Chartreuse and then black straps on the side, and then on the other side, you do have your crawfish color, which is red, and then with black straps on the side. So you kind of have the best of both worlds on these. Uh, this is an 8 to 12 foot uh, diving bait. Again, like I mentioned before, I don't know if you can make that out, but there is a little weight right here. I don't know if you can make that out, but uh, there's a little round ball that is a weight in there that uh, lets that bait get down there. A little bit better than your 3XDs on your Strike King. Same size, um, but it, it lets it run a little better. I feel like there's better action out of this one. So I picked up another one of these. I think they run five, six dollars. Honestly, I prefer these over the Strike King versions. I mean, 
by far. I've caught a lot more fish on these. The only problem is, is that the smaller profile does entice smaller bites. So keep that in mind. Okay, so next up, everybody knows Yellow Magics. We have a uh, Yellow Magic here. This is a Japanese shad color. I'll go ahead and pull it out. I've been getting a lot of bites on these on my local lake with the uh, larger size, the jumbo size. Um, this is just your standard size. I've heard a lot of people getting bites on these as well. So I decided to go ahead and just pick up the regular size. Uh, again, not cheap. Uh, I believe these guys run about $14. So they're not cheap, but the uh, action on these, I mean, you can get a, a lot of walking action. The spinning action is different than, than any other bait you get. It's just, I was looking on forums the other, day, the other day and somebody really asked, hey, you know, why are these worth the extra money? You know, and, and, and it is, it's the spitting action, it's the walking action you get out of them. You don't get, at, get that out of any other popper bait other than the Yellow Magics. But again, uh, this is Japanese shad. It's a little yellow color on the bottom there. It's just white. I just decided to switch it up just a little bit. Of course, you have your feathered tail on there, but very nice hooks. Of course, you have your little stoppers on there right now, but very awesome bait. If you haven't tried a yellow magic and you're using uh, poppers or topwater lures, check them out. So last but not least, uh, probably my favorite lure I picked up today. Um, I've I had seen these before and really contemplated getting one. Didn't, couldn't really justify the price, but I, I mean, I know they'll work pre-spawn. I know they'll pick up big fish, but right here we have a Mega Bass Grenade. Super huge bait. I mean, I don't know that there's actually a square bill crankbait that is the same size as this. And I'll go ahead and pull it out of the package here for you. I mean, these things are just absolutely huge. Very beautiful, very well made, of course. Uh, Japanese made, as you can see there, the quality on these things are just, just amazing. The paint job is amazing. I mean, there's a reason why they cost what they cost. You can see there, the grenade. Mega Bass, this is 1.5 ounce, or one and five eighths ounce, rather. See that there. The, uh, you can see here, the hooks are super sharp, super sticky. I'm just barely sticking my fingers on there and you can see they're kind of hanging on. Uh, the paint job is just, just amazing. Kind of makes it hard to throw. I kind of wanted to get one just to kind of display and then one to throw, but the price just, <laughs> just doesn't justify it. So in comparison, we, right here we have the strike can. I believe these are the 8.0s. Um, of course, you know those are the bigger baits, but if you look, at the grenade in comparison, completely hides that bait. It's gone. Like you don't see that bait. That's how big these guys are. And I really do think they'll pick up a lot of fish. Like here's a side by side comparison. You can see this guy's a lot fatter than that. A uh, little bit longer in length. I would say it's probably mm, maybe half an inch longer there. Let's see if we can get you a good, try and line them up here. It's kind of hard to see on this camera. You can see it's it's a little bit longer there, probably half an inch. Um, just an amazing looking bait. Was really excited to pick it up. Like I said, I'd been kind of on the fence about it, but after fishing that tournament today and the muddy water, you really need a big bait. And with pre-spawn and all that, I really thought this guy would do good. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. But again, you can just see the, the amazing quality in these baits. So there's a reason why they cost what they cost, but just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, really appreciate you guys checking out the channel and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.